uh, second power play unit out there. I do with Jimmy Homer taking the draw. Ryder McCumber, Dollar Deer on the wing. It's one the Ryder! Yeah! Well, good morning and welcome to this Baby Blue Memories presentation brought to you by Host Hotel. Want to host a night away but still get away? Call Host Hotel today at 450-635-7638. You don't even need to go that far. Depinar, restaurants and gas all in the same place. Host Hotel, book the night away. Call them 450-635-7638. Today's matchup is a novice B game featuring the Gahnawagi Mohawks. And the HRS Predators, the Mohawks come in 2-2 two and two in league play, starting netminder, Hayes Horn. She's been uh, ever-reliable in goal for Gautnawagi so far this season. And meanwhile, for the Predators, who come in with a record of three wins and a tie, you have Moran Arthur wearing number 31. He gets the call between the pipes. HRS will be wearing... Blue or dark blue with maroon and yellow trim playing from our left to right. The Mohawks in white with black and yellow playing from our right to left. And in speaking with Justin Horn today, the head coach of the Mohawks, he said, We're going to try out some different things. I believe Onya Daze Day will be moving to center for some portions of this game. And we're going to see Hunter Jacobs and or Grayson Jacobs move back to the point. So we'll see uh, what uh, kind of uh, tricks Justin has up in his uh, bag, of, bag of tricks. What tricks he has up his sleeves for today's game. And we're coming to you here from the Complex Sportive St. Lazar. About a 40 minute drive or so from Gondawagi. Depends on how fast you want to go on the 30. Conlon Foot starting on the wing. So here we go with some of the changes being made immediately. Amante gets moved to center on the line with Conlon Foot on one wing. Belladier on the opposite wing. And there you see it, Hunter Jacobs moving back to defense. So we'll see what happens as the Mohawks come back. It's Amante Horn breaking away. Here he goes. Amante shoots. And that shot was blocked. A centering a skate up right there by Martin Felix. It was broken up initially. Now it's going to be knocked away. Good defense there by the Mohawks. And the puck comes free to center ice. It's picked up by the Predators. Now Conlon Foot skating away. Foot. And he's going to get tracked from behind. Amante Horn picks it back up. Horn looks in front of the goal. Trying to throw it out in front. That pass is going to be intercepted. Ryan Asorhe Norton has to come back defensively. Norton, fan on the clearing attempt, is intercepted by Felix. Felix, the centering feed is blocked. Good break up there, and the Mohawks get out the center. Playing up the ice. Bella Deer tracking the puck. Deer knocked it away initially, but now it's going to be skated up by the Predators. Here they come. Wow, a great rush here. Backhander. No, not on the target. That was Mel Thomas Mellifan on the, the rush. And I mean an end-to-end -end rush there at that. Conlon Foot goes to the bench as is Hunter Jacobs to the Mohawks changing. Amante Horn, the center, gives chase to the puck. Got 8.20 to go in period one of a scoreless game. Ryder McCumber intercepted the puck. It's picked up by HRS. And the Predators have to stop. They're going to they're gonna skate back in onside, they say. And backhanded out to neutralize. Now we got a foot race to the puck. Kirk Horn 
Coming in, shooting one, save! And Arthur Moran comes up with a big stop here. Intercepted by Ryder McCumber. Mohawks coming off of a 7-0 loss in the uh, tournament yesterday to Utuwe. HRS lost 5-2 to Shadagi, both in that tournament. Ryder McCumber plays it around the wall. Puck comes free towards the corner, picked up. And the puck gets over the line. Mohawks need to tag up. And the Predators do get it across the ice. It's shipped back in, offside coming on Ajiwaduni Homer. But they never touch the puck. Shot back in. Predators vacate the zone. And now HRS gates it up. Homer coming back defensively, trying to sweep the puck away. Picked back up by Malifant. Backhander not on the target. Lutheran Dazi Lahash skating up the ice. Lahash puts on the brakes. Nearly had to take it away. Kicked it up to his skate. Plays it up to Snow. And the pass is now picked up by Grayson Jacobs. Knocked off of him. Jacobs, a pass up to center for Ajewadini Homer. Homer plays it up over the blue line. Ryder McCumber gives chase to it on the wing. And the puck gets out. Shot back in. Delayed offside. Homer is going to backtrack now. Ryder's still trapped. And now there's three Mohawks who are trapped in the zone. And now getting out. And back come the Predators. Coming in. Sent out in front, but fanned on on the attempted pass. And Lahash tried to poke it behind the net. Suzy comes out in front. What a stop by Horn. Point blank range. And Hayes Horn answers the bell. We have our second whistle in four minutes of action here. No score at the sports complex of St. Lazar. Brandon Bordeaux on the mic and the camera coming to you. This is the fifth league game of the season for the Mohawks. Actually, for both teams. Mohawk game two and two. Here's a shot. The flex and it goes in. Isaac Shots with the shot. It hit something on the way through. Changed directions. No chance for Hayes Horn. one nothing lead for the Predators. You got to feel for Hayes on this one. The shot comes in, it hits a stick, and the flex changes directions. Absolutely no chance for the Mohawks goaltender here, and the Predators have a 1 0 scoreline. That goal comes 358 into this one. So it's a 1 0 lead for HRS. Intercepted by Day, and now thrown back up to the blue line area. Hunter Jacobs comes back defensively, pokes it to an open wing, stand out in front of the net, and deflected the puck does get out. Now it's shot back in by the Predators. Day gets the puck out of the zone, and they come back into the Predators offside. 5.29 to go in period one, one nothing scoreline for HRS. Big line back out there for the Mohawks, I guess you could say. They have a couple of lines that they, they spread the scoring around, but Amante Horn, Bella Deer, and Conlon foot on this line. Horn taking the draws, Conlon on the wing. So we'll see how he gets used to this new position. Foot trying to get the puck out, it's blocked. Here come the Predators, a shot. Hayes Horn the save, and she'll cover. And you know what? The, the Mohawks are trying a couple of different things here. So things are not exactly going to be what I would say 100% smooth. They got a couple of things that they have to, to work on in this game. One of which is uh, this new lineup change of a Conlon now playing on the wing, Amante at center. And of course a couple of these players are hurt from a, a rough encounter with Utaway last night. Charlotte Snow back up the ice, hits Amante Horn. Horn in stride. Horn up the ice. Horn backhands it up to Conlon foot. Conlon gives chase to a loose puck. Here he goes. Conlon shooting one right on. Stop. Amante on the rebound. Cannot get it. And it's picked up by the Predators. And here's the skate in a rush. 
There's a chance. Saved by Hayes Horn. Victor Wallet denied on the uh, breakaway opportunity. Good save there by Horn. It's chipped back out the center ice. Coming back is Marshall Poirier. Poirier. Coming in. Poirier against Lahas. Poirier is shot, not on the target. A rebound comes through to the opposite point, or the opposite corner. A centering feed block. A second try. Not cleared. Snow has it. Tries to get it out. It's blocked. Another try blocked, and then a fifth try cleared back behind the goal. The Mohawks coming back to play the puck. Lahash flicks it up ice, and it's Amante Horn in stride. Horn makes the move, and had it taken away. And it's Felix Martel coming in offside, and that comes with 3.47 to go here in the first. 1-0 scoreline in favor of the HRS Predators. 3.47 to go in period one. So now the lineup shifts with Ajay Waduni Homer taking the draw. Grayson Jacobs on one wing. Ryder McCumber on the opposite wing. Puck tied up outside the Mohawk zone, Ryder McCumber knocks his man down unintentionally. But good balance anyway by McCumber. He comes back and he had the puck knocked off his stick. McCumber knocked down. Jacobs comes in, as does Homer trying to free up the puck. They all fight for it there. And now knocked back up into Gahawagi territory. Hunter Jacobs makes him a couple of moves, run into. It's picked back up by the Predator, shot towards the net. Hayes Horn does not, is not able to get the puck. Ryan is still Hayden Norton, plays it up the wing. It gets out, and it's touched by a Predator. Offside is called 2.53 to go in the first one nothing scoreline in favor of HRS. This game brought to you by Host Hotel. Want to host the night away, but still get away? Call Host Hotel today, 450-635. 7638. You don't even need to go too far. Depener, restaurants, and gas all in the same location. Host Hotel, book the night away today. Call them 450 635 7638. So here we go with the more lineup changes. On your Daze Day is at center. He's usually a defenseman, but because they moved Jacobs back, they put Day at center and they moved Conlon Foot to another line on the wing. Intercepted by Lahash. Look there, Radazi Lahash. Coming back. Lahash had the puck knocked off his stick, and he's still giving chase to the puck. Coming back defensively was Marshall Poirier. Going up the ice. And here they come. Lahash trying to catch his man. There's a shot. Hayes Horn handles it. It's still loose somewhere. And now play will be blown down. 1-0 scoreline, 2 minutes, 6 seconds to go. Hard to believe, but this is only the 5th league game of the season for these old Hawks. We have a doubleheader coming up today. After this, at 1 o'clock, the Adam Says will take on... Adam C is actually playing the HRS Predators today as well. So we're going to be seeing a lot of uh, HRS jerseys in the next little bit. As Conlon Foot gets the puck out of the zone. Foot chips it up ahead. Picked back up by the Predators. Shaw comes in. It lands on net. And Horn forced to make the stop. And she'll hang on with a minute 43 to go here in the first. It's a one nothing score line here. Both these two teams coming off of losses last night. They both lost in the tournament. I believe the Shadigan Cavaliers were the team that dethroned uh, HRS and the Mohawks beaten by the O2A Coyotes. Here come the Mohawks. It's Conlon Foot coming up the ice. Conlon threw it out in front and that centering feed was picked off. Amante Horn goes into the corner to fight for it. Bella Deer does too. It comes back out in front. Norton made the play. Good play by him to keep the play alive. Horn 
Had the puck taken off his stick. And uh, Norton comes in to try to break up the rush. Good job there on Maxim Sivingy. Norton. Tied the puck up along the boards. Now Norton. Ryan is Norhey Norton. Plays it up the wing. Amante Horn gets there. Knocked down from behind. He, and he went leg first into the, to the boards. Didn't look intentional, but still. Amante threw it out in front. Conlin, and they come, they come in. That is offside. Good rush there by the Mohawks. Amante shaking it off. Obviously not injured. That's a good sign, but boy, he went in there. It was dangerous. I mean, incidental contact, and he went leg first into the boards, and luckily he's okay. Still a one nothing score line, 31.7 seconds to go in period one. Brandon Bordeaux coming to you here at the uh, Sports Complex in St. Lazar. Ryder McCumber chips the puck in. Jimmy Chase to the puck where the Mohawks. A day with Dooney Homer keeps the play alive. Homer fighting for it. He had the assist of the Mohawks' lone goal the other night. Now Grayson Jacobs trying to knock the puck free. Kip picked up, and here comes the Predators. Here's a shot! Big save by Hayes Horn, and that does it. That's going to end the first period. It's a 1 0 scoreline for the Predators. Second period coming up, you're watching Baby Blue Memories. And we are back and ready. Second period action. The uh, seeds have shifted. The Predators playing from a right to left. Mohawks left to right. Gahnawage in the white with black and yellow. The Predators grab the puck right now in the darker jerseys. Dark blue with uh, maroon and yellow. There's a steal by Edgy Wazuni. Homer. Homer trying to feed the puck up ice. Oh, and he just couldn't get the puck up. Played up ahead. Ryder McCumber, the puck in too far for him. McCumber keeping the play alive. Homer battles for it there as well. As well. And now Lahash has to come back. Right there at Dazi Lahash. Gets the puck out to center ice. Picked up by the Predators. That was number 91, Isaac Jacques, who has the only goal up to this point. Lahash up the ice. Pass is intercepted. Here's a shot, deflected, and it goes in. No, it hit the post. Stayed out. That would have been another deflection goal for the uh, Predators. Now the puck knocked back towards the uh, point. Played off the wall and kept alive by the Preds. Good job by number 96, Marshall Poirier. Now here's a steal. And it's deflected, picked back up in a shot wide. Mohawks got to get the puck out here. Puck comes straight to the opposite corner. Or the opposite board, sorry. They try to get it out a second time. And it's thrown into an open corner. Kept alive by the Predators shot right on. Hayes holding the stop, a rebound, the Mohawks scoop it up. Intercepted. Here's a shot. Score. Maxim Sevigny has given the Predators a 2 0 lead. You can just feel it come in the first two minutes of the second period played exclusively in the Mohawk zone. Not a long, you needed a line change. That situation. Somebody has to do something. Ice the puck or uh, cover it. Something. Kirk Horn picks it up. Backhanded behind the net. Ryan is Norton. Norton comes back behind his net. Doing a good job. There's Norton and got a penalty coming up against the Predators. 
I believe for a high stick. It's a hook. And we have a first power play of the game either way. And it's going to be a Mohawks power play. I really want to see what Justin does here if he wants to maybe go with something, uh, maybe try to go out with his top line. But Onye Dawson Day, because of his athleticism and because of his shot, has been moved up to forward. And we'll see what he does here. He gets his first work as a centerman on the power play. Gahnawagi's power play, 7.40 to go in the second. They're down 2 nothing. They were one for two in that tournament game against uh, DDO. Hunter Jacobs. And now it's scooped up and backhanded out by Norton. They fanned on it, and it's a chance for the Predators. Thrown out in front, no one there. Uh, HRS player goes falling into the corner. They try to feed it for Hunter Jacobs. Day back there. And it comes free, and it's Kirkhorn. He got knocked off the puck, Norton. And here's a break for the Predators. Shot. Not in. Whoa, Hayes Horn. Big stop by Hayes. Keeping it a 2 nothing score line. With uh, 6.58 to go here in the second period of play. Face off coming up to the left of the Mohawks cage. Top power play line out there. We'll see if they can break through. Comes back to the point. Here's a shot. Knocked down in front. And another try kept alive by the Predators. Here's a shot. That's not going to land on the target. Predators going to be chased behind the net. It's Jacques. Jacques had a stick lifted by Lahash. He's a backhander score. Marshall Poirier gets one, and the Predators have uh, added to their lead. It's now 3 zip. Face off coming up at center. Horn, foot, and deer. Lahash and Norton, the defenseman. Or no, they change it. Lahash and Snow, the defenseman. Lahash. Plays it up to Conlon, foot. Conlon skating. Conlon, foot. Busting in. Conlon. Trying to throw it out in front, he did, and it's going to land right on net. Amante and Bella go right to the net, good play. Face off coming up inside the Predator zone. That's what you want to do if you're the Mohawks though. Get that puck to the net, wait for a rebound, maybe something juicy will happen. Face off coming up to the left of Mora. Comes back to the point. Norton, fanned on the shot, and it's going to be knocked away. Hunter Jacobs. And it's going to be cleared back out the center. Here, give me chase for a puck. Ryder McCumber, can he get there? No. A little too far, and we have icing called. With uh, 31 seconds to go in the penalty, uh, 5.46 to go in the second period of play. This is the last league game of the year for the Mohawks. I mean of the physical year, 2018. Obviously they'll be back in action, I think, the first weekend of 2019. But uh, yeah, no league games for a couple of weeks. Unless you count the friendship game, which they will have. Comes back to the point. A shot blocked. Homer knocked it back out in front. And now it's scooped up by Norton. He clears the puck. Scooped up by the Predators. And shot back in. Ace Horn. 
covers it and she will hang on. This game brought to you by Host Hotel. Want to host the night but still get away? Call Host Hotel today. 450-665-7638. You don't even need to go too far. Deppman Airs, restaurants and gas all in the same place as Host Hotel. Book the night away. 450-635-7638. Face off coming to the right of Hayes Horn. Day lost the puck. Backhanded right on and a big stop. As the puck comes through the center. Penalty now over with five aside. Why did they even call icing? I think that hit a leg. Shot back in. No icing, so Snow's going to go up to it. Charlotte Snow, the defenseman, in on the forecheck. Tried to throw it out in front. It was blocked. Day intercepted it. Day not sure where the puck is. He threw it behind the goal. Now Mayo gives chase to the puck. Aston Mayo nearly intercepted it. Charlotte Snow coming in. Good for it. Good pinch there by Charlotte. Puck went over the stick of Mayo. Mayo coming in and nearly knocked the puck away. Over the stick of Day, poked away by Charlotte Snow. And Charlotte's made a couple of really good plays there on defense. We have an offside call, and play is halted with 4.14 to go in period two. 3 0 scoreline for the uh, HRS Predators. And uh, coming up. Our next game, it's actually the HRS Predators again. They'll be taking on the ball. It'll be Adam C action. Should be a lot of fun. Monte Horn knocks the puck in. Monte tries to throw it out in front, and the puck gets out. I thought it did. Actually, good pinch there, and a good keep in. Archer Jacobs overskated the puck. Conlon Foote shoots it in and he'll give chase to the puck. Bella Deer out there as well on the four check. So too is uh, Amante Horn, number 14. The puck comes out in front. And Moray forced to make the stop. And he'll hold it with 3.37 to go in the second. I know they're down by three, but if they can get one here and make it a 3-1 game, then everything changes as the third period starts to come around. They need one. Believe that they have that confidence. They're in a bit of a goal scoring funk here. And the puck nearly went in right there as the defenseman coming back. Poirier almost knocked it in. Or sorry, it was 91. Josh almost knocked it in. And instead, the Predators come in on a breakaway the other way. Here's a shot. Whoa! Hayes Horn making the save, denying Felix Martel. Right up the ice. Kept alive. Comes out in front. Here's a shot, and it's covered by Hayes Horn. 3 0 score line. Face off coming up inside the Gahanawagi zone. Face off coming up to the right of Hayes Horn. 3 0 score line. 2.59 to go here in the second period of play. Homer's line out there. Here's a shot right on, and a nice save by Hayes Horn, denying number 90, Thomas Melitfa. Now backhanded up towards the uh, point. Ryan McCumber trying to chip it out. And the puck gets out, so the Predators are forced to tag up here. Now, back on the Mohawks.
Thank <laughs> you. 